Hey guys, so today I'll be comparing my laptop against a desktop. It will not be a top-of-the-line desktop, but shame on you if you expect that a 2011 laptop needs a brand new beast to be beaten. So today I'm gonna compare my laptop against a physical desktop, compare some stuff and some benches that I did, and just gonna show the hardware that we have. So we have an Intel i5 6400, which is a 2015 CPU against a 2011 laptop CPU. My 2760QM in the laptop, both will be using the same 960 on around the same overclock settings, but one will be using them as an eGPU, pushing it through a mini PCI lane, while the other has the full Gen 3 16 time lane. Both are using the 850 EVO, the hard drives are not important, and uh, the one will be using Corsair Dominators 3.4 gigahertz. These are overclocked, they're running at 3.4 against 2.1 gigahertz HyperX laptop RAM on a 2011 laptop, let that sink in. So we have an MSI Z270 Gaming Carbon and now I can hear already all the people, oh, why you have this CPU in such a motherboard? Because you can swap CPUs. This is a temporary thing to show this and use this for a while till I can get a 77K. But if you need a 7070K to beat my 2760, then shit, this desktop sucks. But uh, today I'm going to take an i5-6400, which is much newer, is a desktop CPU, and has, has four cores, so it should beat my processor into oblivion. At least I expect that from all the people saying, yeah, you should have built a desktop, it's so much better. So if it doesn't beat my desktop by far, then uh, shame on you, really. And don't ever come with this shit again with, yeah, desktops are so much better, blah. No, my laptop was working fine. So let's do it. We start with my laptop. Here we have my user benchmark for my laptop. It's running 16 gigs, 2.1 gigahertz. Here's the proof, it's running at 2.1. I had 8%, that's as low as I could get. 65 gaming, 61 desktop, 44 workstation, with everything green. Every single one is green on the 2011 laptop. Keep, let that sink in again. 65, 61, 44. Now for the desktop. 72, 76, 45. That's one whole percent increase on the workstation. This is a bit of increase, but not the worth the price. You gotta imagine, I had two choices. I could have my laptop that I already owned, already had in my living room, and invest some money in it. I invested like 270 euros, and I got it from shit to this. And that's amazing. For the money that I spent, that's amazing. It went from absolutely garbage running GTA on the lowest at 5 FPS to this running GTA at max 70 FPS. So that's my choice, the first that I had. The second is the one that all screaming about. You could have built a desktop. Yes, so I could have built a desktop. And Ryzen is not an option because if I would build a desktop, it would be mainly towards Simu, which I did now. Simu doesn't work good with AMD and Ryzen and stuff. So uh, that wouldn't have worked out. I would have had to got a very expensive Ryzen to get Simu running decently with very big RAM. I still have got very big RAM, but that's not the point. But very a 500 euro build would have not, 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 not managed what this 270 euro investing in my laptop has done. So you gotta imagine, this is uh, this processor is an i5, it's still a 200 euro processor. 200 euro, that's a big price tag for the performance increase. So this is all we have, it's running at 3.4 gigahertz, it's overclocked as you can see. CPU goes from 62 to 76. That's all. And look at the price. It's an expensive processor. It's not top of the line. But again, if you're telling me you need an absolute top of the line desktop processor to beat my laptop CPU, shit, shame on you. This is not worth the price. It's not. This is not worth it because with the new CPU, I still need a new motherboard, a case, a cable, a power supply, cooling, everything. And that just for this? Get out of my face. The 970. This is on the desktop, 75.6. This means it's on newer drivers as well, so that might have to do with that. It's around the same overclock, and now you gotta imagine, this is running through the PCI 3 16 time lane. That's all. 
and this is running through the one time mini PCI lane at Gen 2. 72. That's all. People, that's all. Come on. We're not going to bench the, the drives. Nobody gives a shit. We have to ram. 70.8 on a 2011 laptop, 59 nanoseconds, 25 gigabits was actually the limit of the laptop. I choose these RAM banks because they had the same limit. I wouldn't be able to pass it, but I was able to run them at 2133 megahertz. Now we get to these. These are absolute beasts, 39 gigabits, crazy. 3.5 gigahertz, again, crazy. Super good score. 52 nanoseconds, that's not bad. I haven't even messed with the timings, I just let the timings go automatic, but that's really good. I outperform any other banks because I get a really good overclock. But uh, here's the thing, in real world usage, what does it mean? Almost nothing, really, it really doesn't. So I can close out of this and I'm gonna compare some stuff. So we have Cinebench. 6400 against 2760, OpenGL, great. That's good. It got a lot of FPS more, around 40 FPS. Look at this. The multi-core score is the same. It's the same shit, people. On a, on a desktop CPU. The single core is better. That's because this is uh, built towards not using hyper threads. 140, which is good. Good for Simu. 112, not bad for the laptop. It's really not bad for a laptop. And uh, that's... Uh, oh, that's it. That's for the processor. All right, let's go. Heaven. New processor, no bottlenecks. It's running at this. this. This is all increased performance. Again, remember the price tag. New desktop, again, just investing 270. 70 FPS, 700 score against 85 FPS, 2100 uh, score. Worth it? No. Can I see anything more than 60 FPS on my 60 hertz screen? No. Is it worth the price? No. And the overclock is slightly higher there and I can't run that overclock on the desktop. It will crash. So that's, I give it that, I give that to the laptop. Uh, index score. Just the graphics score went up from 8.7 to 9.4. The CPU is not, it's, it's margin. The margin is not that big. It's not great. Not for the price again. I haven't done this on the computer. Here you can see the proof. This is running at 34. Uh, 3.4 gigahertz. This is running at 2.1 gigahertz. Cool. Both are working. Great. Valley 68 to 88. That's the biggest difference I could see. That's 20 FPS. Great. But is it worth it again for the price? No. Absolutely not. So uh, the only thing that really increases is my CMU performance by a lot and Tom Rider because Tom Rider uses a lot of VRAM and VRAM is what gets limited by the mini PCI because that's a lot of data pushing through a small cable. The FPS overall is not that much higher. 60 uh, to 70 on GTA 5 went to 80 to 90. Great, I can put MSA on and waste a little bit of FPS on that. Do I need it? No. Simu uh, went from 20... Uh, 20 to 23 FPS average to around 35 average. That's really good, but that has more to do with the CPU and it's being uh, used in a different way on Simu. So Simu is working great. I can show that it's um, absolutely great. I can do that, but in real world, um, no. Uh, Tom Rider went up a lot from 40 FPS to like 80. That's because I can run DirectX 12, which I couldn't on the laptop for some reason, even though it supported it, I have no clue why. Uh, so I can't really judge about that, but um, even 40 FPS is more than acceptable on Tom Wright on the laptop. Come on, people. And you have to imagine the RAM banks I'm going to be getting. This is only 8 gigs. I'm going to be getting another 8, so it will be 60 the same. That's like 300 euros. The motherboard is 170. Uh, new cooling. I'm going to do a water cooling, but it's my own choice. The 970 I had. Power supply, another 60 euro. Uh, the case was 110 euro and you will understand once you see why it was that much but that's all money i had to invest to get a desktop and i could have just again put the 270 euro on my laptop and pretty much got almost the same performance so if you have at the standpoint of i have a laptop what do i do do i throw it away and get a desktop i'm not gonna throw it away but just saying it like that get a desktop and I had to spend 1k to get a bit of difference that makes it worth it. If you get a 500 euro build, my laptop is going to smash you. 
It's going to smash your 500 euro build. It's going to do it. This this build is almost 1k and it's still almost no difference. It's like if we put a percentage on it, it's like 15 to 20% better for three or four times the price. Guys, come on. You must have some brain. This is all this bullshit against, oh, this stuff is so much better. It's just the bias that you have. In real world, it's not that better. Upgradability, shut up. You've seen what I've done with my laptop. So the upgradability is not an issue for me. I can even put another better desktop, uh, C uh, another better CPU in there. I have options for better CPUs that work in that laptop. I could potentially run even higher RAM banks, and I could put a bit, bit of bigger G graphics card in there. I had a 1070 in there. It will get bottlenecked, yes, but it will still get more perf uh, FPS out of it. So as you can see, we have Simo here. This is only at 8 gigs of RAM, so in the beginning it's always a bit stuttery, but uh, once the shader cache has applied, that is working great. That's just, this is actually terrible. I'm not sure what's going on. I've not seen this at all. Whoa, something is going on. I have no clue what. Alright, that's better. So this is how it usually performs. I'm, I'm getting some stutters. I'm not sure why. This is the first time ever I have that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is how Simu performs usually. It's uh, a bit odd with the 8 gigs of RAM because uh, Simu requires a lot. I have the fix, so that's that. But yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. It's not worth it to build a desktop. My option that I did was far smarter than uh, getting a desktop. The desktop has some benefits, but the price is so much worse than upgrading my laptop. So yeah, I hope this proves this for once and for all. If you have any questions you can ask, thanks for watching. Bye.